fulfilled my first Florida deer tag. Nick just got me up out of bed to tell me that the hurricane winds are here. Hurricane Ian is hitting as we speak and we're about to go hunting. She always like says thank you like this after we feed her. She also does that whine when she's like saying hello to someone. She's a very vocal girl. She has a lot to say. I've been trying to recover over the last couple of days. The poison ivy keeps spreading. I have been on steroids now for about five days and I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> can you tell which eyeball is swollen? It's like the rash is getting a lot worse in some spots and starting to heal in others. And then it's continuing to pop up. I just did myself so dirty. Initially, I thought that I got the poison ivy doing yard work because we were doing yard work and there was a poison ivy vine and I'm pretty sure I touched it. And then while Nick was editing the last video, he was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> I climbed a whole tree with a poison oak vine going the entire way up and I hunted in it for hours and then I probably didn't even shower immediately after I got back. I probably showered like that evening. I can't even remember. So I really, really, really did myself dirty. And then even after it popped up, I didn't take care of it initially. I let it go for like a week and I was like, okay, poison ivy sucks, but it's not that bad. And now I'm regretting everything. So I really have learned my lesson and I'm just still slowly healing. But because I now know that I got this poison ivy from hunting, I need to clean my gear. Really, I wanna burn everything, <laughs> everything, because this has been so bad. But I have a plan and I'm going to soak everything in some Dawn soap. So let's do that. On a side note, we got some blinds installed today, okay? Slowly starting to look like a home, but it's gonna take a long time before it, you know, you know, whatever, I'm not in a rush, I don't care. All right, the bathtub, here's my plan. Dish soap, big bathtub, smoking hot water. I'm just gonna soak everything in Dawn dish soap and pray that it gets the oil off. Hey, Nick is home. Is our boy home? Let's go see. Wait, I should turn off the water before I flood the house. Let's get him. So while I'm out here, I just have to show you again because I'm so proud. This lemon tree just keeps getting better and better by the day. It's a Meyer lemon tree too, so it's like, Best as the best. So excited. I fixed you a bath. <laughs> Here is the gear in question. Now I know my saddle is like especially ground zero, which that's this one over here. There she is. I ended up soaking it for a few hours and then I rinsed it off and now it's just sitting there drying closer to being able to hunt again. I'm gonna cook up a little recipe real quick. I have a sirloin tip roast from an axis deer that I killed last year. And I'm actually shocked that I even have any axis meat left because it's so good. I think it just kind of got buried in the bottom of the freezer. I have some beans soaking. I'll be making beans later. A lot of salt, a lot of pepper. in a few hours. It's the Ivy update. Yeah. We have our first 
hurricane since purchasing our home. Anybody who's lived in Florida for a long time really downplays hurricanes and they're very nonchalant about it, but hurricanes are a big deal. They cause a lot of damage and you should be prepared and be smart about them. We have hurricane shutters that we have begun to put up, which is important for us to do regardless because we've never put them up before. So we need to make sure that we know how to put them up, that all of them fit properly and everything's good so far. So that's good. The storm constantly changes and the path is constantly being updated. So we're just being safe, but things are now on the radar not the hurricane radar, the hunting radar for this upcoming week that I now I have something to be excited about again and I'm not just moping around in my poison ivy uncomfortableness. So our friend Ryan has access to private land. Ryan is a phenomenal hunter, like one of the best hunters I've ever met anywhere, anywhere. He's so good. If I do hunt with Ryan and Kaylin, it's an archery tag. So. I gotta get my bow out and I have to clean it. And I'm a little scared about it, but I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna shoot it right now. This is the plan. Look at my little protector, huh? My little protector, huh? My little girl protecting me. Final spread. Look at this little angel next to the shed. So these rabbits are native to Florida. They're called marsh rabbits. They're different than the cottontails that I'm used to in Pennsylvania. They are darker in color. They have shorter ears and apparently they're really good swimmers and they're all over our yard. I love them so much. Kinda let that one go. <laughs> Ooh, thirty one. Nice. You're shooting good. Must be nice to be shooting a high pounded bow. Arrows fly so flat, so fast. They don't drop like crazy. <laughs> nice. Woohoo, my first arrow went wink. Yeah, yours are looking good. My second arrow is pretty, pretty much perfect. The oak trees in our yard are producing acorns. I need to find this in the woods here. Bum -ba -dum. I have two eye rounds, one backstrap. I brined these in a couple different solutions, so I'm doing a cool little test to see what turns out the best. But these recipes have potential to be in my cookbook that's coming out in 2023, so I can't share them with you, but I am having a lot of fun experimenting and cooking lately in preparation for this book. It's so cool. We have the Dometic CFX 3. I just checked more information on this hurricane and it is getting stronger and stronger and stronger just by the hour. And its path keeps changing and the more that it changes, the more that it has potential to affect us. Woo! Whoa. Rip it up, girl. Rip it up, girl. Is this one that makes ice? Yeah. Cool. It is a little bit nerve wracking because Tornadoes are really common with hurricanes. Nobody's safe. There's gonna be flooding and potential for tornadoes. But with all that said, guess what we might do tomorrow? Well, the hurricane's hitting. We might go hunting. <laughs> that would be so Floridian of us. Ryan sent me pictures of this buck that he has on camera. We're gonna keep an eye on the weather, and <laughs> keep an eye on this crazy hurricane, and then see. And so it begins. The rain is coming down hard right now. You know what I do? I'm gonna put out a bucket, start collecting the rainwater. I'm curious to see how much we get. 
it already started, so I missed out on a couple inches already, I'm sure. My avocado tree is not going to make it, I don't think. Look at this thing. This is terrifying. Oh my god. Nick just got me up out of bed to tell me that the hurricane winds are here. Today is Wednesday. Hurricane Ian is hitting as we speak and we're about to go hunting. So this is my arm, my form. That's my tree. Very, very small. One good gust of wind and this thing might break in half. That was far back. I'm just praying that it hit enough liver that she's over there, but I feel not confident and um, not happy to say the least. This is like the worst feeling ever. Oh, it's straight guts. Straight guts. Zero liver. Straight guts. Straight guts. I want to really show you what this arrow looks like for learning purposes because if this happens to you and it's never happened to you before, you need to know what to look for. On the arrow, you see a lot of green, a lot of what is grass and food that was ripped out from her intestines or her stomach as the arrow passed through. Here on the end though, I have slight hope that that is liver right there. Like maybe it hit her liver first and then with the angle it went through um, her guts. But that is a little bit more like dark and globular. I'm actually gonna touch it. Uh, or it might be dirt. The whole thing is not ideal and just sucks not a fun feeling but we're gonna give her some time to hopefully pass away in a spot that we can find her as long as we recover her it'll be okay fingers crossed that's right where the shot was
Oh my god. Nice. Good news? Got him. Sweet. Good job, buddy. Good job, buddy. We found it! It looked like she'd been dead for a while, too. Yeah, so like, it probably did clip liver or lung or a diaphragm, like something, or the diaphragm. You know. It is cranking out there. The wind is wild. We got so lucky with the weather tonight. I mean, I know it was windy, but like, whoo, it could have been a lot worse. Look at how filled the bucket got just from one night. It is, it's 12.19 a.m. I just finished skinning and quartering that deer, drinking a beer, eating some Sour Patch Kids, and we are in Tropical Storm Watch, so technically not a hurricane here, but some pretty intense winds. I can't imagine what the West Coast is going through right now. It was looking really bad, so I'm definitely thinking of those people. I am so so thankful that we were able to find that deer obviously not ideal it is such a horrible feeling knowing that you didn't put a good shot on an animal especially a shot like that that deer was so close the dog didn't find the deer ryan found the deer and it still blows my mind because ryan basically found that deer just through experience of hunting that property enough to know how the deer move through there, what trails they take. They have killed other deer that have taken the same route. And it was literally his experience, his knowledge, his sixth sense. And that's what found the deer. It's I am about to film how to butcher a hind quarter of a deer. I have my kitchen all cleaned up, set up. I put these funky lights on the ground just to like add a little spice in the video i think it's fun and i have all of the like studio lights set up i've got a second angle set up so that i can really get some good shots of the meat that video will be linked once it's out it's going to be a very in-depth video on how to break down a hind quarter what each cut is good for how i like to use it etc it's gonna be a really really good one a remake of one i made a couple years ago it'll be a better smarter version of that video so yeah, but look at this, the big old cooler in the kitchen. We ended up bringing this in last night just so that it would stay as cool as possible. Look, he's coming to investigate, she knows. Oh, look at that, so beautiful. I'm very, very excited about this deer. So this is how I've kept the meat cold overnight. There's ice in bags all on the bottom. Um, I have the meat in trays. I've separated them with some baking sheets, trying to keep airflow around the meat. I didn't want to stack it all up on top of each other. It's still a little stacked up, but as much airflow as possible is what you want. We're ready to process. It's the next day. I pulled out my beautiful chamber vacuum sealer. This thing is wild. It is a commercial grade chamber vacuum sealer by Avid Armor. It's called the GS41, so it's part of their guide series. And I realized that I didn't have any plastic bags, like vacuum seal bags, so I ran to the store, I got a big roll. So now I'm just pre-cutting them into the proper sizes, but they do such a phenomenal job of preventing freezer burn and making the meat last a long time. So it's time to seal her up. So when you cut the bags from the roll, they are open on both sides. So first thing you need to do is seal one side. Beautiful. 
with this vacuum sealer, as soon as you close the lid, it automatically starts. And because I'm not vacuuming, I'm skipping to like the next step. So I'm skipping the vacuum portion and going straight to, to the ceiling. <laughs> so because these cuts of meat are so small, I put a bunch of just random items in here to help fill the chamber. If this was a large piece of meat, I wouldn't have to do that. But in order to get a nice tight seal, you can either increase the vacuum time or just throw some extra stuff in there. You wanna make sure that the bag you use is big enough. If you don't use a bag big enough with enough head space, um, it won't seal as good, it won't vacuum as good. I have finished vacuum sealing the meat and the consensus is this thing is a beast. It is beautiful, it is wonderful, I'm so excited about it. <sighs> but that's it for this vlog, you guys. I am so happy that I filled my first Florida deer tag. I said this in the hindquarter video that I just finished filming, but it kind of feels like a rite of passage into us buying a house here. Um, earlier today we went and got our Florida driver's license. I feel so happy. I feel really settled here. I don't know, there's something about killing a deer here and like butchering. I butchered my first Florida deer at our house. It, there's just something so special about that. Really, really cool. And definitely like core memories that are going to stick with me for the rest of my life, you know? It's a big deal. It's a really special time. It's a really wonderful, beautiful, amazing time in my life right now. Anyways, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.